So you, we could do it under mount, we could do it on top mount. I would say when you're thinking about it from top mount, it's a distraction for Chase's hands, right? So if I'm on top there, and Chase is, say Chase is good at the kipping escape, right? He's, it leaves his hands preoccupied, right? So a lot of times guys will try to get inside elbow position, they'll bump us forward. But if they are concerned about no Ezekiel's, Chase is gonna to wanna to defend this and he brings his hands back. So I'd say from top position, it is, the effectiveness is based on how quickly he defends it. And some sort of trick I'll do from time to time is when I control him out, I'll just go for it in a really shitty way. And the guy will bring his hand up and he'll clear it straight away. So that way, by the time I really go for it, they wait a little too long to defend. So how do we do the grip, right? I reach through as deep as possible with a cross face arm. And when you do this, obviously don't keep your head center here because if I go deep here, keep my weight on this side, I got no post and Chase could bridge and roll quite easily. So as my cross face arm comes in, so does my head. Now it's gonna be much more difficult for him to bridge and roll over his left shoulder. I'm going to reach for my left bicep here and at the same time, we pummel that hand in. So a mistake people make is they grab the bicep and then they try to pummel the hand. You're never gonna get the hand in, right? So everything comes at once here. So you can see I'm passing it under Chase's chin. And a lot of guys will do it sort of like in the gi where they'll place their forearm into the guy's throat. But because we don't have the luxury of grips in no gi, what I do is I bring it under my armpit here. So now both hands are hidden, right? We compare it. If I just place it in front of Chase's neck here, he's gonna reach through and find these fingers. And he's gonna clear it. If I place it under my armpit, now Chase tries to find it. He can find the fingers, but watch, he pushes it into my, into my own armpit. Doesn't really help me. <laughs> and then we can start applying pressure. So to apply the pressure, really I'm just bringing elbows down and together. And we get that. It's down. really tight, it's no joke. Yeah, so that's the trick, right? It's obviously the earlier he defends it, the better chance he has to get out. That's why when we're rolling, I'll just put it here and Chase will just rip it out. Maybe we keep rolling, I go for it again, he rips it out again. And then that third time, he doesn't respect it anymore. And he lets me place the hand under the armpit. So now I'm gonna gently apply and Chase is gonna fight out 100%. Once it's in, it's in. And we can also hit it under mount. I won't name any names, but he is sitting in the room right now. The best time to set this up is when they're actually in side control. And they've got this double underhooks position. So I reach through and cuff that far shoulder here. You can see Chase, he couldn't be in a better position for control here. Because he's got two underhooks, I can't turn away, I can't turn in. So I just rest this arm here. And now as Chase takes me out, watch what happens. He lifts his head high. And it makes it very easy for me to swing this arm through. And now as I start applying pressure, we get the same submission. But again, if he's already in mount, it can be harder to get this position because his head's up and generally speaking guys will sometimes let go of these double underhooks to just keep one underhook for their attacks. But if Chase is back in side control and he's thinking about mount and I'm turning, I'm pretending like I'm trying to block it, his head rises, we get that bicep grip and we come through our own armpit here. So again, now I've got it established, I'm not applying it and Chase is now going to try to fight out. we get the submission. So, I mean, it's bullshit, but it does cause guys to overreact to things or underreact to things, and then we... we it's, it's legit. As much as I hate it, it works. <laughs> it's super strong. There's the other guy. <laughs>